this question is asking what is an alkyl group so I'm sure you can see a little bit of what it says down there but an alkyl group is if you think about it um, is a chain of carbons and hydrogens attached to a, um, a main group so these are all these types of functional groups so an alkyl group counts as one of said functional groups and there's many types of functional groups there are uh, carbonyls, uh, carboxyls, uh, benzene, phenyl groups um, I'm just saying a bunch of things but point being is in an alkyl group think of it as like the most basic you can get because when you start talking about like um, like an ester group or an uh, ether group or something like that those ones have specific types of um, different elements in them like oxygen um, but alkyl groups only focus on carbon and hydrogen chains so it's kind of like an extra chain that sticks out so let's say for example we had a benzene ring okay and this stuck out of it okay so because the benzene ring is our main group here that is what we will uh, base it off of it so like it will end in a um, benzene okay this here this one two three carbon chain that's C three H it's going to be, yeah, this is about C3H7. It would usually be C3H8, but then it's attached here. So that would be like the last part. But well, point being that this carbon group, because there's three carbons, this would actually be propanil benzene. Propanil benzene. And actually, if we actually search it up here, oh, I added too many parts. So propyl benzene. If you look at the picture, so propyl, not propanol. It's just important to also know where the, um, so a three carbon ring, that's propane. So it's important to know where it drops off. So this A-N-E gets canceled out and replaced with a Y-L, which is what alkyl groups are. Um, I'll give you another alkyl group after just so we make sure that we get it on point. But the point being is that as you see here, purple benzene, exactly what I drew here. It's a benzene ring with a pro propane group, propyl group sticking out of it. So let's say for example, also if you're thinking about alkyl groups I'm gonna say I guess benzene is really the best one to work with because it's usually its own uh, it gets one of the highest priorities so if we had the benzene okay and then we did this like that right so it goes back to your nomenclature you always want to be naming like try to get things at the highest priority so this would be the best for one two three four five six in my opinion and then I'll circle one two three four and then this one has three so four so that's butane so we can drop that off so it'll be actually butyl this butyl right here this is an example of an alkyl group and this one here same thing pro pill also an alkyl group and how does it come together this molecule right here would be called one in fact it makes you put it in alphabetical order and B goes before P so one butyl four propyl benzene let's see if we are correct 
one. Mm. And I don't want isobutyl because that's a little bit of a different one. One butyl four. Yep, there we go. Has the longer part on top and then the shorter part at the bottom, but exactly one butyl four propyl benzene. But that right there is just an example and breakdowns of how these alkyl groups work. Make sure that you don't forget about the YL at the end. That is the key part about this. So I'm going to write it down here. Just emphasize. Replace A-N-E with YL. So if anything, this is the most important thing you should be taking out of this when you're working with alkyl groups. Okay? So let's see what they say here. Okay. And they do have the general formula there. Uh, that one, it's always good to kind of base it off the carbons you have. Um, you want to make sure that you don't want to make any assumptions. So this formula here does work for most cases. In fact, if we look at the examples I gave you, uh, you will see that exactly that's how we got the C3H7 because we have three carbons and then three times two is six plus one. And then you can guess that exactly this one would be C4H9 instead of 10 because um, butane is actually C4H10. So you're kind of like taking away the hydrogen and replacing that hydrogen with the main group. And then that becomes the side group, aka the alcohol group in this case. So with that, this is also correct. Now, let's move on to question three.